guys. So in this video, we're going to take the firmware that we uh, compiled in the last video, and we're going to uh, upload it to our, our Sidewinder printer here. Now, unfortunately, the way the Sidewinder printer works, you have to undo the TFT cable. Uh, it's a serial cable that is connected to the motherboard and the the, um, the front screen, the touch screen of, of the, uh, the printer. And uh, the, way, the way the Sidewinder is, the only way that you can disconnect that cable is to take off the bottom uh, of the unit and uh, undo the cable. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut this tape here, which is uh, obviously going to void our warranty. Uh, so be aware, be aware of that, but we'll do that now. I'm just going to take a little knife here and cut that. And then we're going to remove the six screws that hold the bottom cover on. Now, don't keep the Sidewinder plugged in. There's no reason for it to be plugged in to update the motherboard firmware on it. So I'm just going to undo these six screws and then we'll pop this cover off. Put these screws aside. Now when I pop this cover off, the power wire for the fan goes to the motherboard, which is going to be over here. So I don't have a whole lot of space to move it. So I'm just going to be really careful about how I move it over. Okay. So now you can see the inside of our Sidewinder printer. Now this is the cable that needs to be disconnected. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, I will zoom in, try to get a little closer to this. Let me move my camera so we get a better angle on it. Now, if you can see, it's actually been hot glued uh, into, the, into the socket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a heat gun and I'm gonna heat that up a little bit and I'm gonna pick away some of the hot glue so that we can get it out. So it's gonna be a little noisy. And I'm just gonna very gently warm up this hot glue and use some tweezers here to pick it out. Now we don't want it to get too hot because we don't want it to melt any of the wires or the connection so I'm going to remove the heat for a little bit. Then I'm going to pop that out. And while it's out, I'm going to clean off some of the glue. And shut off my hot gun. Get it out of the way. Get some more of the glue off here so we don't have to remove the glue again next time. And I didn't get it so hot that it's burning my fingers, but it is warm. And that's it for removing the cable. Now I'm going to uh, switch cameras and show my desktop. Okay, so I'm using Prusa Slicer to update the uh, the firmware on the on the Sidewinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm 
first going to go into configuration, flash printer firmware, browse to the image, and now this is in the Marlin 2.0 2 uh, Marlin 2.0 PIO build Mega 2560 folder that we did uh, previously. And I'm just going to open up that firmware, and uh, I'm going to say so right now it's only showing the printer port, which is not correct because I don't have the um, the printer plugged in. I'm going to do that now. Now, as I said before, you don't need to have the printer plugged into uh, 110 volt power. The motherboard on this will be powered from the USB cable. So I'm gonna plug in the USB cable. And as you can hear, it detected the plug-in. I'm going to click rescan for serial port. And there it is. So now we're just going to click flash. And that's it. It's completed. So then the next thing that we're going to do, or I'm going to do, uh, this is not a requirement, but I'm going to update the firmware for the screen, um, for the TFT touchscreen. There's a, an updated um, firmware that has some, some uh, other nice features like PID tuning, which we're going to get into at a different point. Um, and it does have, you know, settings for leveling and it has some preheats and easier um, load and unload of filaments. So I'm going to load that firmware and you can download, let me find it. You can download that firmware from this site uh, that's actually on uh, GitHub and I will post a link to it uh, later. But uh, now, all I did was download the uh, the code and I copied the files that are in this SD card folder. Uh, you don't actually put the SD card folder onto an SD card, you put the contents of this folder. So you open this folder and drop those contents onto the SD card. And then I'm going to go back to my other camera and uh, so you can see that process. So I'm not sure what happened a minute ago, but um, I have already got the bottom of the Sidewinder back on. I've got the cable reconnected and all the screws have been tightened up. Um, I did record it, but for some reason my camera didn't pick it up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash the TFT firmware by putting the SD card into the little card slot here. And then we're going to power the unit on and it should automatically update. So it's going to take a couple minutes. First, it's going to update the firmware itself. And then once that's completed, it's going to copy over all the graphics files and stuff like that. So now it's copying over the graphics files.
And then once that's completed, it should reboot and we'll be done. And there it is. So we've updated our motherboard, the mainboard firmware, and we've updated the firmware on the, the TFT display. Um, and uh, that's it. It should be good to go. Good to go. Next, we'll test it out.